Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from my channel Hybrochem World Railway and welcome to the second episode of Shoutout Sunday. Now as last week before we begin I'll just give you a couple of admin updates and things that I want to tell you before we of course get into the shouting out a bit of today's Shoutout Sunday. So you may notice this big jigsaw has appeared and the camera shot has changed since last week. This is because this jigsaw is actually going to go up on this wall so where my hand is sort of now it's going to sort of, whoops, that's the light, fit in that gap there. Um, and this is because behind, as you can see here and here, and as you will know from my videos, there is just a big massive gap behind here. Um, and I really wanted to fill that up. So all this memorabilia up there is actually going to go get and taken and put on the other side of the loft because there's plenty of room over there that needs filling. Um, the switch for the lights, which is behind here, oh, it's gone dark is also going to be moved back down to the entrance of the loft um, because when me and my granddad originally wired this loft for the lights and the sockets and the isolator switch for the spur which is up there um, we originally wanted to put it down uh, to the entrance of the loft so you can climb up the ladder, turn the light on and the lights are on but obviously I have to climb up in pitch black fumble around and then turn on the switch that's now going to get moved back where it should be we're going to put a junction box in so that the light can go down there the lights well the isolator switch really but it's like a light switch can go down there um, and then the pitch can go up there so that'll fill up the gap and then we're going to use some of this mdf and some other mdf to fill in the last sort of bit of room that will be left which will be from there downwards um, and then any excess memorabilia can go on there any posters, anything like that, and then that'll leave room to put my back scene up, which is talking a very long way into the future, but that'll be leave some room for some back scene to go in there. So, let's actually get into Shout Out Sunday. I have prepared some notes. Um, these aren't notes because I don't know what I'm talking about about these channels. It's just to ensure that I say the right thing. So, first of all, this week I have been enjoying videos that have been in the sort of clip format. Videos which aren't necessarily like this one, which go on for six or seven minutes with people talking or somebody doing something. It's short videos, normally between 30 seconds and maybe two minutes long that just show a small part of something rather than a big long length of something and that's quite good because I have been very busy this week with work and fixing lawnmowers and by the way yes this is the same hoodie as last week because this is my dirty fixing lawnmower hoodie and last week and this week I've been fixing lawnmowers so I've been enjoying videos that are the short and sharp clip format this week and there's two channels I want to shout out this week so the first one is a channel um, from a bloke and the channel name is called Matt Seymour um, whose channel is consists of uh, train spotting visiting steam rallies um, a bit similar to Norfolk Man Cave last week but focusing on the steam side of things rather than stationary engines and also showing off general model railways his model railway called daisy dale and trains so his channel has wonderful little as i said short clips of trains um, mostly train spotting uh, at the minute on the neen valley railway which i don't really know a lot about so it's been good to see some of the locomotives that they've got on their railway and as i said he occasionally does videos on his model railway called daisy dale so new purchases uh, loco movements short running sessions stuff like that um, and it, as i said again he also visits steam rallies so clips of traction engines and steam locos working and you know like big massive um, traction engines powering like table saws for sewing big logs in half um, really sort of interesting stuff and it's interesting to see how they would have you know sawn up massive 10 foot wide logs uh, back in the old days and the demonstrations that he videos at the steam rallies are really really nice to watch and for me it really is just quite fun just to sit and watch a load of clips throughout the week um, like with North and Man Cave that I shouted out last week it really is like it being a rally away from home um, and because they are short clips you can sort of watch 10 or 15 um, different things at once but in, in a short space of time which I really enjoy and he has also done a couple of videos on live steam in his own miniature locomotive too I think he's got a three and a half inch gauge live steam loco that is run on a short section of track um, up and down a path outside his house and that was really nice to see as well so there the first channel is Matt Seymour links are all in the description um, please do go check him out and there's been stuff on the screen while I've been talking as well and the second shout out I want to do is a channel called Oestry Road TMD uh, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway once again in the short clip format that I've been enjoying this week and um, which is basically on Oestry Road's put your phone on silent George 
Um, basically, on Oystery Roads TMD's channel, he has short updates of layout progress, so little things he's done, so like um, making a cutting, ballasting, um, and he also does uh, short train running sessions, so maybe 30 seconds of a loco pulling out a shed, going on to the main layout, um, displays of new locomotives, track testing, stuff like that. Um, he does very much enjoy showing off his purchases as well, uh, new trains, new additions to the layout, new bits of scenery. Um, and he does also do some train spotting videos too, which are nice to watch. Put your phone on silent, man. There, we've done it now. So, those are the two channels I want to shout out this week. Matt Seema and Oestry Road TMD. Thank you very much for your channels and the brilliant content you provide. Um, and as I say, I think for both of your channels, the clip format really does work well. I certainly enjoy it, and I'm sure a lot of my viewers will enjoy it as well. So, do go check out Oestry Road and Matt Seymour's channels. Links are all in the description, of course. Um, and to wrap up Shout Out Sunday, I would just like to give you a little bit of an update of what's happening on my channel and with my videos. Um, so, video, the one of the next videos coming up is a video talking about a lawnmower restoration I've been doing. Some of you know I've been restoring an Atco Admiral 16 SE, um, and I want to talk about the problems and trials and tribularities of had getting that to run properly, because, my God, that has been difficult. But we're getting there now, I'm waiting on one connector for the electric start and then I can stow it away and sell it when the season comes back in next year. So that's one of the next videos and then the model railway is also going to start getting some more attention because it is now October, getting cold outside, people aren't mowing the grass at lawns, there's no point selling lawn mowers because nobody's going to be using a lawn mower. So the model railway is getting some attention. First thing up to do is go to b and buy a load of foam, um, buy a replacement heating wire for my um, element cutter, my hot wire foam cutter because of that broke and I can't find where the replacement is. And then I'll do some videos about um, sort of landscaping hills, uh, paper mache type thing, plastering, getting all the landscape done. Um, and then hopefully, finally, I can get some static grass in and start getting some green on these very orangey brown boards so that is what's coming up on my channel thank you very much indeed for watching another episode of shout out sunday um hopefully within the next well maybe by this time next week it might be two weeks time we might have this jigsaw up and i should probably tell you what jigsaw this actually is it's an lms royal scott class in red as you can see uh, number 6138 called fury um, somewhere I looked said it was called something to do with London and Irishman was the name. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I think that's wrong because you can distinctly see four letters on the nameplate. You can't read what they are. You can just sort of tell, oh, yeah, there's four letters there. Uh, so that that's what that jigsaw is. I think it was originally an oil painting. Um, was the bloke's first name Graham? I can't quite remember now. Anyway, it was originally an oil painting, I think. Um, and, well, it's, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's a jigsaw format. Uh, my granddad um, made the jigsaw up and then thought, oh, George might like this in his loft because he's aware of all this space that's missing here. So, yeah, thank you to my granddad for doing that for me. And we're going to put that up. And my other granddad, the electrician, is going to move the switch, as I said at the start of the video. And I've just noticed Bryanton May matches. I hadn't noticed that before. That is one of the advertisements I do recognised. Anyway, enough waffling for today's shout out Sunday. Thank you very much indeed for watching the video. And I hope to see you again next week for another episode of Shout Out Sunday. And maybe if I get round to it, a video in the midweek as well. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.